Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your weekly reading for June 17th to the 23rd. This is for Cancer and Cancer Rising, and we're going to jump right into it, Cancer. Happy birthday. I'm so excited for you. We are entering your birthday season. Oh my goodness. You waited a whole year for this. This is going to be very, very, very excellent for you this is going to be an excellent week you're going to feel this really shift i wouldn't be surprised if you i mean have you noticed we're entering this new frontier there's a especially after the past two months a lot of major auspicious aspects a lot of winds of change i mean this is definitely going to be this new shift that you're going to feel okay it's going to feel like a like a starburst commercial all right the juice is loose y'all the juice is loose i hope you get that reference <laughs> um anyway big shift this week especially into your sign as you can see major this is absolutely major uh we kick it off on monday with you on june 17th with uh mercury conjunct Venus okay now they're moving together Mercury and Venus are aligning together at zero degrees moving it like you know arm in arm into your sign with this powerful conjunction uh, this big charge that's got to be happening for y'all and it is fresh it is very very watery very you very emotional but like emotionally driven I mean you're going to enter bear mode okay and when I say bear mode I'm talking uh care bear I'm talking mama bear I'm, I'm talking Berenstein Bears. It is all about home and family and what your heart desires and relationships. But it is, you know, uh, very heart is uh, home is where the heart is energy. You know, you do rule the fourth house. OK, so uh, but it's also all about you and how you feel in those areas in your life. And not even just, you know, uh, it, 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 everything, everything. This is you. This is you. A uh, lot lot of emotional capacity in terms of what you desire, uh, thinking about who you are, the transformations you want for yourself. Again, this is all happening in your sign, all right? Your identity, things like that. A lot of romance here with, you know, uh, what's happening. Uh, compassion energy, just very compassionate. But you see that we are beginning this new story, okay? And it's your story. This is absolutely amazing. Now, Venus, by the way, is in your sign until july so ooh, just immerse in that immerse in that very compassionate energy all about kindness all about matters of the heart like i said earlier very nurturing energy so you so you right uh protective energy um in terms of protecting you and your family and your home but in a way where it's just like this is this is this is me this is me and uh i'm gonna let it thrive i'm gonna make sure that everything thrives a lot of loyalty energy and creativity and creativity you could feel find yourself feeling very very creative around this time but it is if you saw your monthly forecast i you know i said this is like uh you know this beautiful softness here okay it's like lying in bed with your kids or your dog or uh your lover whatever it is it's just that real Really, really sweet, sweet Venus and Cancer energy that I love. And then uh, Mercury moves into your side. Mercury moves into your side. Remember, just Cancer in general is just like very emotionally driven. So this is how you could be in the way that you think and communicate. It's just thinking with your heart, even like maybe, uh, you know, wearing your heart on your sleeve. But it's very intuitive energy, too. And that nurturing energy, that nurturing side of you is really going to come out now. So uh, really embrace this. It is this really nice slow down but it's also just like uh poetry in motion is what mercury uh, uh in your sign is which i really 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 love now on thursday you see we move with, uh, into your birthday season sun and cancer happy birthday to all cancers out there very excited for you all right this is going to be really really sweet and welcome to the longest day of the year welcome to the longest day of the year we are officially in summer all right and winter in the Southern Hemisphere. I love this. I love this all, sis. Remember, longest day of the year, so you do have extra hours in the day. It's going to feel like you have all this extra time to think about matters of the heart, to really move in that direction, to uh, even intuitive energy, but really, really uh, like down to your soul. It's like this soul energy that I really love. You know, the sun, uh, which is in, you know, your sign, right? So it's the moon sign. Uh, the moon rules you. So 
really amplified energy with the sun, Mercury, Venus, all in your sign, Cancer. This is a lot of, again, emotions, healing, intuition, family, love, children, like every family. It's going to be relationships, all of that, all of that. It's, you know, you, Cancer is just, it's a very feminine sign, right? So it's that sensitive side, just really tapping into that, uh, uh, that feminine energy inside you. Okay. Uh, so it really, you will feel this surge of, of just feeling emotionally driven and feeling emotionally good and just feeling very, you know, uh, it's almost like you walking down the street and you see a baby in a stroller or like a puppy and you're just like so moved by that. This is, I love it. It's pulling at your heartstrings energy, wearing your heart on your sleeve. Like I said, uh, now you may even feel like a little bit of this just really extra emotional at the beginning of the week. And that's because the moon will be in Scorpio, your BFF fellow water sign. And so that's double water there. That's double water. And it really, you know, Scorpio rules your fifth house of love and relationships and family and children and joy and, you know, creativity, self-expression. Uh, so I love this energy for you. And it just, I feel like there's going to be something that's going to be really moving for you this week. Really, really moving for you this week. Now, the moon in uh, Scorpio will be opposite Mars, by the way. And so that's one thing that I want to just clarify real quick. You have all this fresh energy. We have all this fresh energy right now. Jupiter, fresh in Gemini, right? That just happened a few weeks ago. Pluto moving into Aquarius. That happened earlier this year, but Pluto takes 20 years. I mean, Pluto's going to be in Aquarius for 20 years. It's only moved like a degree, so it's still very, very new. Okay, so that's all that air energy. Now we've got Venus, Mercury, and the sun in your sign, Cancer, water, right? But you add Saturn and Neptune that are in Pisces, water. Uh, wow, wow, a lot of air and water energy this week. But then you have Mars in Taurus, Earth sign. So what I want you to do is think about a skipping stone across the surface of a lake this week. All right. And I say that because, you know, it's it's the surface of the lake that divides air and water. Right. Um, now, this skipping stone, however, is as if it's been thrown by like a two-year-old, <laughs> like bloop, bloop. And I say that because remember Mars is in Taurus, Earth sign, the skipping stone is Mars. And there's that slowdown. There's that slowdown with Mars and Taurus. But then also with all these energies in your sign, all these energies in these air signs as well. I mean, it really is a slowdown, especially with Venus, Mercury, and the sun in your sign. Uh, that's asking you to really absorb the moment to really be you know aware of of what's happening in your life just really connect with everything that is in your physical world but also in your spiritual world and really merge the two and really just be aware of everything that's happening and uh enjoy it and absorb everything you know all the beautiful things around you so uh i really really want you to remember that uh, one of the reasons why this is uh, going to be really crucial is the sun squaring Neptune. Now, we're coming out of all those Neptune squares, and Neptune is in your ninth house of spirituality, the way you see things, your perspective on things, also travel-related stuff, travel long-distance travel, uh, publishing as well. Uh, so Neptune, I talked a lot more about it in your last week's reading, if you didn't see that. Neptune is at 29 degrees and, you know, will be going retrograde soon, along with Saturn and both in Pisces and your ninth house. But what I'm trying to say is that you have to really, really be aware in the moment and know what you want. Know what you want moving forward. Cut through the fog of Neptune. That's with the sun squaring Saturn. Uh, 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 well, yeah. And well, the sun squaring Neptune, but all the Saturn squares as well, is really asking you to do is be in touch with your authentic self and know what you want moving forward. Okay? Cut through all that fog. It really is like standing at a vending machine you got your dollar bill in the thing and you really got to know you got to really 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 know what your heart desires okay you got to know what you really want do you want the starburst okay do those even exist anymore i don't even know i mean do you want the cheetos who you know you're the only one who knows but you gotta trust your gut because if you just get some random thing like the box of raisins 
Maybe that's not what you wanted, okay? So really, really know what you want. What is your authentic self? What is your gut telling you? What is your heart telling you? Take this time now because you're gonna wanna cut through this fog and I'm and, and doubling down on this because we now have the full moon in Capricorn, okay? Your opposite sign. And so this is gonna be very interesting for you. First of all, this full moon in Capricorn, as I explained, your monthly forecast is very unique. This full moon in Capricorn is happening at one degree. Therefore, the full moon in Capricorn happening next month in July it will be in Capricorn too. I think that was what I was trying to say. We have two full moons in Capricorn back to back. All right. Very rare. It doesn't happen often. It doesn't happen often. That one's going to be at 29 degrees to the same day. Okay. July 21st. So very, very interesting. Now Capricorn represents structure. There's this structure. There's this structure in your life, whether it's breaking one down to build this new one or really working on the structures uh, that you have now and finding uh, more stability in it. Um, full moons bring culmination, conclusion. They illuminate things that you need to know, that you need to see. They bring turning points. Remember, this is just one of two full moons in Capricorn. So it's just part one of something coming to uh, a, a culmination. And Capricorn rules your seventh house, Cancer. So it could be a partnership. It could be a relationship. There could be something here. And I say that as in like, this could be a work-related partnership. It could be uh, home-related, love-related. There's something that there's got to be something where you have this moment of clarity, okay, knowing what you want, that you have to surrender around this time, okay? And it is going to be a process because of the second full moon in Capricorn happening next month, but I love this full moon. I actually like this full moon. It's a great full moon, okay? Sure, it's growing Neptune, but as long as you are honest with yourself, as long as you know what you want, you're going to be fine. You're going to be absolutely fine. Okay. Uh, Mars is, is sexing, uh, uh, uh Mercury that day. And so, yeah, this is going to be, uh, and, and that's a very harmonious as aspect. It's very like, you know, uh, putting your mouth where your heart is really, this aspect is supporting you in the way that you speak and the way that you think about things. I, it, it could be with, uh, uh, there really could be something here with a friendship as well, possibly a group you belong to. There's, you know, Mars is very active in Taurus in your 11th house. And so, uh, that does rule your friendships, uh, groups you belong to, uh, com uh, communities, um, even social media, there could be something in social media written related around this time but it's also your hopes and wishes and dreams okay so really know what you want moving forward okay really trust yourself be in touch with your higher mind your your higher self and the other thing about this full moon that's really nice is that the full the moon will be in capricorn all weekend long and it will trine okay it's going to trine mars on Saturday, it's going to try Uranus on Sunday. Those are really, really nice. That's very auspicious, okay? Really, really, really nice energy. Both Mars and Uranus are in Taurus, by the way. So again, something that may have to do with friends, friendships, groups you belong to, a community, but also your hopes and wishes and dreams. So you could find yourself this week really prioritizing. You've got all this energy amplifying who you are, okay? cancer and then surrendering the things that you realize are no longer part of you no longer part of you or something that has you know reached a point of fatigue something that you just know you have to let go around this time all right so cancer with that said let's get to it Lola, let's see what's going on for you for june 17th to the 23rd again this is for cancer cancer rising cancer moon you saw that card drop uh Six of Swords. I love it. I love it already. This is absolutely amazing. You keep going. You keep going. And it's, as you know, that's a wink from the universe right there. That's a little nudge from the universe. That's a peekaboo. So if it does show up in your thread, then obviously it's a sign. It's a sign. Now, uh, so this is for Cancer. Cancer Rising, Cancer Moon. If you want to read for any other placements in your chart, you're absolutely welcome to. Uh, so let's do it, Cancer. Let's get started. See what's going on for you for June 17th to the 23rd. <sighs> Cancer. Okay, so... Um, 
what was I going to say? Uh, oh, yeah, I do a traditional call to Christ spread. If we need to pull clarifiers, you know that we will. Secondly, Cancer, happy birthday. Really excited for you. Honestly, you've waited an entire year. And this Cancer season is so nice. Just wait till July. There are some great things happening in July, okay? But I also have to tell you right now, Cancer, anything you want to do, do it now. Anything that your heart desires, any of your passions, do it now. You're going to start feeling that slowdown July August, September, when, you know, the planets start going retrograde, Mercury retrograde happening in August, you know, time, I feel like time doesn't even exist anymore. Uh, we're already in June. It's crazy. It feels like it was January yesterday. So do the things that you want now. All right, Cancer, let's get started. Uh, oh, you're good. Uh, and amazing. And wow. Uh, hello. Um, <laughs> this is really big. Oh, I did. Then uh, you get another card up here. Uh, so yeah, you are, uh, you're good. You're good. Uh, you are definitely like, you know, it's, it's okay. Let's just get to it. Let me just tell you, let's, let's walk through this page of pentacles. So would it be surprised if something new has already come through for you? Something that you've, and it could even be something that you deeply feel down in your bones, your heart and soul. You're like, this is my calling. This is what I have to do. Oh, I'm really compelled by this. I'm really going to learn more about this. Or there's the page of pentacles. Okay. Uh, could have been something, uh, career related as well. Remember you still have the North node in Aries in your 10th house of career. So a lot of y'all could have changed, uh, something, uh, moved different directions, or again, really started exploring something new. Remember, we just came out of a very, very strong Gemini season, which is curiosity which is expanding the mind which is mental stimulation which is trying new things so it looks like you're moving in a direction uh where uh something new could have already happened uh and remember i dropped these readings uh uh many days before the actual week so it could still be to come really put your energy out there but the page of pentacles what i love about the page of pentacles is the page of pentacles is double earth um so this is or the page of pentacles is very earth bound all right so uh grounding something rooting up for you and again pentacles money wealth there's something could be career could be investments there's something there but remember also pentacles are earth balance there's something in your physical world that is happening now and it's just gonna bring you so much joy so much joy so much satisfaction this is a total week of satisfaction be very proud of yourself be very happy with everything that's happening in your life you're gonna be absolutely amazing this week you've got the nine of cups um hello this is i call it genie in a bottle energy it's uh, you know uh the wish come true card right this is you can even see him sitting there like a genie in a bottle <laughs> uh really nice here i love this i love this and be when i say be very proud of yourself even in this you know card you can see the cups over his head all right almost and the way that you see it, it's almost like he's really as if he's showing them off because he's proud of what he's achieved and what's happened in his life and you know he has reached his goals and his hopes and wishes and so i really absolutely love this for you so you can expect a week to just be very satisfied with how things are a lot of enlightenment here a lot of spiritual enlightenment as well that you're going to feel moving forward this week now you do have the five of uh of wands in your uh challenge area so just be mindful there could be uh you know uh with all this family energy it could be a lot of like noise around you just be that leader that you are it seems like you are going to be look at what's happening here uh and also you just you being a cardinal sign you're a natural leader you got full moon capricorn natural leader energy and this full moon so strong you'll feel you know the energies of it a few days before a few days after i really really love this for you but yeah you can see it's just kids swinging their ones in the air all right. So that really could be something where uh, there is just a little bit of like not seeing eye to eye or you got to be that authority figure. That's like, y'all, y'all, come on, come on. We really got to, you know, uh, uh, get along here and uh, see eye to eye. Maybe there's too many cooks in the kitchen, but there is a point of you rising above to say, I'm the mama bear. I'm the papa bear that let's and I'm going to make sure that we're we're all on the same page all right now and it's not even a lot of noise remember five this is a challenge cards but it's the least like challenging it's more like 
it's taking it's like just uh taking up it's like and like taking up your time it's like a waste of time energy is what the five of ones is that's why it's just like someone's just gotta like step up and say all right now you got the hair font all right in your crown uh i'll just go ahead and show you. you got the high priestess you got the high priestess um again if you saw your last week's reading but you got the pair you got the pair, this divine pair with the high priestess and the hierophant. Okay, the high priest. Um, we'll talk about that. But the hierophant, um, absolutely amazing. You are definitely leadering up. You are be. It's almost like you're being seen a lot more. Your voice is going to be heard. Uh, you're going to shine. All right, you're going to shine, um, especially because you also got the sun and the root of your spread. So the hair font, a lot of wisdom. You could be feeling that moving through this week. And again, this is the first card in the major arcana is where other people appear other than the main figure. So. People are listening to him. People are listening to him. You see the two monks at his feet. You see him wearing like a triple crown. Come on. you. This is leadership energy. But remember that structure that I was talking about this week. Okay. The Hierophant loves structure. He loves organization. And he loves attention. But it seems like you will be receiving that. And it could be something that you are uh, re adapting to these structures in your life. Or even enforcing them. Or just uh, making sure that there is structure. Not only in your life. But the other people that are within your orbit okay that uh makes more sense makes things more fluid uh and it definitely still could be a lot of lot of career energy it could be i wouldn't even be surprised if you start your own uh organization remember uh well uh, the hair font is taurus remember you got mars and uranus and taurus in your 11th house groups organizations communities so if you want to start your own uh i don't know uh 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 the cats of the 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 human cats of toledo ohio club go for it go for, do whatever you want do whatever you want you've got all that power your wishes coming true but also you got the sun fueling all this energy for you optimism growth vitality good health this is abundance Oh my goodness, this is absolutely amazing because the sun is moving into your sign this week, okay? So you're definitely going to feel that energy, this freeness, this victory, this long hair, don't care, this, well, you know, you will care for sure because of the planets and your heart, but more just like that freeness, okay? That freeness and feeling free and 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 not feeling like rooted down in certain things. But um, the sun brings, uh, you know, if you've ever got a, a tarot reading, you know it's the biggest yes. So this is like a yes week for you. It's like a big yes week. Now, you also got the high priestess again, all right, again. And so the high priestess, guardian of the subconscious, this is someone who is uh, really in tune with, uh, her intuitive side, even emotional side, you know, she is attributed to the moon. Now, remember, the moon rules you. You are associated with the moon, okay? Uh, so really, really nice, strong energy here, all right? This is this is absolutely bonkers, absolutely bonkers. This is you uh, really going deep and really going deep to know what you want, to know what you want moving forward. Speaking of wisdom, I mean, you see the Torah in her laugh, half failed, OK, and so you really need to go beyond your physical world to have all that knowledge. You have to really go within. And it seems like you're going to be doing that, especially because you have all these spiritual cards. Uh, well, I mean, you have the sun, which is in your sign. You got the hair font uh, and the high priestess. You got the pair here. You've got this, you know, uh, the high priestess is very passive. Right. So it's just having those meditative, healing, intuitive moments and the reflection of it with the high, uh, the hair font, you've got the nine of cups, which is attributed to Pisces. All right. It's actually Jupiter in Pisces, uh, which is uh, your ninth house of spirituality. I mean, there's a lot happening here. That's really, really nice for you, Cancer. Let's get to your stuff. Oh my goodness, Cancer. I, y'all, uh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. I'm very excited for you. Um, if you like this reading, by the way, it would be great. If you like, subscribe, leave comments. Tell me what's going on. Tell me uh, what you plan on doing for your birthday. I'm very excited for you. A lot of things that are going to be happening for you. All right. So, 
Uh, yeah, you're going to be absolutely fine. You're, you're going to be 1000. Everything's changing. Everything's changing. Remember what I said from the very beginning, maybe like a, like a shift in your mindset, the way that you see things. Yeah. There's going to be a big one here. Now, uh, you're really good, by the way, you got the death card. As you know, this is one of the best cards in the deck. This is all about this transformational process that you're seeking, that you're going through and have it. Don't resist this transformation. And it doesn't look like you want to. It seems like you do want change. It seems like you do, you know, looking at what's happening for y'all, you want really big change and you're going to start feeling that now, okay? Because it's not just your birthday season, okay? It's the sun and Ver uh, Mercury and Venus in your sign. And then there's got to be some great aspects in July that you're going to really love. You're going to really love. But yeah, this is... Uh, it's almost like you're becoming like Cancer 2.0. There's this new you uh, that's brewing, and it's going to be one where you have a lot of power, a lot of spiritual power as well, and a lot of success. You got the Six of Wands, okay? You got the Six of Wands in your external factors area. I really love this for you. A lot of this, you know, has to do with your self-worth and self-value, uh, self-confidence, especially with, you know, all these spiritual cards. You have the Sun here. Uh, but uh, the reason I say that is because you have these two Leo cards, the five of ones and the six of ones. And that is your second house of self-worth and self-value. Now, here's the thing. This is all about success. This is uh, uh, being recognized, okay? Being recognized. Again, you're becoming this big leader. People are listening to you. Uh, people are paying attention to you. And the same thing here with the six of ones, all right? having these successes and achievements. And it seems like there is that that's happening for you this week. You are moving toward that. In fact, this is a very active card. Okay. That this is a procession. It's a parade. That horse is still going. All right. So just one of many achievements to come. You're, you're definitely on this, uh, amazing new path. Um, and remember what I said with the five of wands energy. So remember, once you step up, once you step up and drown out that noise and, and you know, get everyone together by the campfire, sing in uh, Jewel or whatever, you're going to be fine. Like, because five of wands and then see what happens when that you go straight to the six of wands and your external factors area. So you could also be doing, remember, um, there could be success with someone else involved, or there could be someone that's bringing this success for you that, uh, is pivotal. Okay. Sort of like maybe like an agent or your boss or your husband, there's someone that could be very pivotal this week. Now you have the king of wands. Absolutely amazing. This is, uh, where you ought to be sitting in this throne and you are moving in that direction. So king of wands, that's like epitome of fire 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 you are just passion so much passion in terms of what you do okay in terms of what you do and very related to career uh work uh, uh even just when i say like ascending in that area um and it again if you're not here for work just what you're passionate about i mean this is so much passion but also transformation to the point where you are just feeling really good you've made those achievements and you are uh not only uh the king of wands by the way is like the fun king okay he's the king that uh people love and he worked his way up he didn't He's not sitting here through succession or lineage like he worked to get here. But you see him tilting forward in his throne like he's excited. He's got passion. This is what I'm talking about. This is that passion. I want you to feel it this week as you move into your birthday season. He can't even sit still. He wants to do things, see things, make other people's passions come true. He this is this is a nice, nice king. I love this king. And then lastly, you have the ten of swords in your final outcome. This is really great because ten is the end of the suit. So there could have been a point where you've had a lot going on in your mind. You had a lot, especially Gemini season when all you have the a bundle of planets in your 12th house, right? The subconscious and intuition and whatnot. But it, this is great because you see the sun coming out on the horizon. All right. Those dark clouds are clearing. It's the end, as I said, of the suit. So even if you could have felt like mentally, like, ah, it's, it's again, you're moving out of it now. You're moving out of it now. And so you, uh, you know, with these swords, with the 10 of swords, you definitely want to take action. And it's funny because this card is actually a Gemini card. And so it could have been even like, you know, the past few weeks, 
there was so much energy happening uh, throughout Gemini season. So many big, powerful aspects, some that were rare, one of a kind, some that you don't see for years that happened in your 12th house. So there could have been a lot going on in your mind, but this is a week where uh, where you could learn from it and grow from it and become, you know, and thrive from it. All right. So I'll even do a clarifier for you for that one. Yeah. See, you got to trust me here. You got the three of cups, uh, which is a cancer card. So this is absolutely amazing. It's all about celebration, but it's also this bonding element that comes with it. Uh, just this really good, like even celebrating life itself. This is absolutely amazing. Uh, you see the three sisters toasting each other. There's so much fun in the atmosphere. You're going to be fine. It's like, again, you're moving out of this phase and moving to the other end so yeah you are really great you got this is absolutely amazing this is absolutely amazing um i don't even like you're good you're good cancer thanks so much for tuning in uh if you like this reading it'd be great if you like subscribe leave comments let me know what's going on happy birthday and next week next week we've got some great stuff happening for y'all okay cancer uh you yeah we got some great stuff uh we got venus sex and mars i love mercury trine saturn okay remember that is going to be something uh there could be some new partnership alliance forming for you remember um with this full moon in Capricorn, it affects your seventh house. But anyway, uh, uh, there could be something there. There could be something there with this new partnership forming. But anyway, you know you're good. This is absolutely amazing. Just keep, I mean, you've got wishes coming true. you got victory, success. You've got a lot of spiritual enlightenment. you got the sun. you got the death card. Like, I can't even... Uh, <sighs> really really nice it seems like you're not only ascending but some of y'all may be going through a rite of passage but there is a sense of like this rebirth energy regeneration energy uh, i'll even show you one last thing before i let you go cancer this is how unique your reading is you see the red feather in the head of the wisdom child referencing the death card with the red feather and his and so yeah this is it's it's regeneration okay it's regeneration i mean you have the sun you have the death card death card is scorpio scorpio this ruling planet is pluto that's regeneration there's some sort of rebirth renewal happening here especially with the hair the high priestess as well and it's moving you toward this success and 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 this you're just transforming you're i love you cancer y'all are amazing thanks so much for tuning in if you like this reading uh i already said all that all right cancer thanks so much i will see you next week all right bye bye